the first step that I like to do is what I call the brain dump. Yep. So you're just telling ChatGPT what you want. If we look over on the far right, this is the dictate button right here. And if we press this dictate button, we can just talk to it and just tell it what we want. So what it's done is it's just tra it's transcribing everything that you just said. So now what we do is we go to the beginning of this and I tell ChatGPT, clean up this prompt for ChatGPT, for ChatGPT, for clarity and impact, right? Mm. And then now it's just everything there. And so now we, we're going to press go. So ChatGPT can create the prompt for ChatGPT. See how it just really polishes yep. it up? Yep. Or if you want yep. to take it to sure. the next level, um, we can actually say here, okay, turn this into a mega prompt. And what ChatGPT does is it will actually take that and just take it to another level. So it's gonna write an even bigger prompt. Now we're actually going to copy this prompt, open up a new chat, and then you just paste it in the chat, and then you press go. And now our amazing prompt is writing <laughs> the job description for your uh, executive assistant. So oh. here's your job description being written out. The whole point of this was to show people we started off with a brain dump, got to a good prompt, and then when it gave us the result, we optimized that result even more and then fed it what it needed to know about us to have yeah. an amazing end result. So this goes to show that, you know, anyone, if you follow that, that style of what we just did, if you follow that workflow, that anybody can get a great result out of using AI and ChatGPT. They just need, need to know how to do that process.